Hello, Fred. Oh, hi, Wilbur. Fred, this is my neighbor, Roger Addison, Mr. Fred Briggs. How do you do, Mr. Do Briggs? Do. Honey, guess what? Mr. Briggs said he'd use Mr. Edna's new movie. <laughs> I'm afraid my horse will not be available for your picture, Fred. Okay, anything you say. I hope you're satisfied. You ruined my whole evening. If it weren't for that darn horse, we wouldn't even be arguing. Honey, what, what's happening to us? What are we arguing about? Don't you know that I love you? And don't you know that I love you? What are we arguing about? A silly thing like putting Mr. Ed to work. <laughs> That's silly. He doesn't have to work. Then give me one good reason why he shouldn't. <laughs> because I make enough money to support a wife and a horse. When we got married, it should have been a three-ring ceremony. Oh, that's ridiculous. A horse wearing a ring. <laughs> Hello, information. I'd like the number of Fred Briggs in Beverly Hill. <laughs> Whatever happened to Good Morning? Uh, Carol and I had a few words again last night. Well. Excuse me, Ed. Hello. Wilbur, my secretary just gave me your message. We'll pick up your horse tomorrow morning at 6. My horse? But listen, Fred. No, oh, don't bother to thank me, Wilbur. It was a pleasure. Oh, look, I must get back on the set. Goodbye. That was Fred Briggs. Carol went behind my back again. <laughs> she didn't call. I called. <laughs> you? That's right. But I thought you didn't want to go to work. Changed my mind. <laughs> you, you're just trying to keep peace in the family, aren't you? Please, don't slobber over me. <laughs> so, Carol. All right, this is a run-through, everybody. Get set, Rannigan. Uh-oh. Ready, Charles? <laughs> All right. Roll them. Roll them. OK. Action. OK, action. Right away. All right, let's try it again. Okay, ready, Brannigan? Ready. Charles? All right, roll them. Roll them. Okay, action. Action. Those gunshots are scaring you, Mr. Briggs. Yeah, it could be. Bring it back. Yes, sir. Brannigan, don't fire your gun this time. We can put in the shots later. That's very good thinking, Mr. Briggs. Thank you. Don't mention it, sir. <laughs> All right, let's go. Charles? All right, roll them. Roll them. Action. Lunch, everybody. <laughs> How's it going, Ed? I'm quitting. Get my unemployment insurance. What's that? They want me to carry a 250-pound cowboy on my back. I'll be bow-legged in two days. Uh -oh. Here comes Hot Lips again. Isn't this Daphne, the star of this picture? Lo, honey, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, easy. She's worth a fortune. When I marry, it'll be for love, not money. Oh, is Daphne here with this horse again? George, I thought I told you to get her ready. I'm sorry, Mr. Briggs. Come on, Daphne. Come on. Now, uh... Fred, maybe Ed isn't cut out for movies. You want me to take him home? I'm glad you asked me. Frankly, I don't think your animal is too bright. Now, he's a little bit nervous, you see. This is his first time in front of a camera. Incidentally, I have the revised sketches for the beach house whenever you oh, have good, time. Oh, good, good. I'll drop around when I'm free. Okay, everybody, let's go. Lunch. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to see